Thank you for joining us this morning, everyone. And thanks, of course, to the Wyoming Democratic Party, to Lynette Grebel, and all the other amazing candidates who made this one of the most exciting elections in Wyoming. The results are in. And while this wasn't the outcome we fought for, we are still declaring victory. Why? Because we did something amazing. Our campaign started from nothing. No name recognition or staff, no money, no volunteers. But in less than one year, we built a grassroots movement unlike any other in Wyoming's recent history. In a state with just 45,000 Democrats, we received close to 80,000 votes. People who have never voted a Democrat in their life, people who have never voted at all, voted for us, volunteered for us, publicly endorsed us. And all this, when we talked about climate change in a state that heavily dependent on fossil fuels. How do we know that our message really resonated? Because when we reached out, people responded. We received more than 5,000 voter questions in the last week alone about me, about my plans, about my vision for Wyoming's future. And we answered every single one. We asked everyone, no matter the politics, the same question. What keeps you up at night and what can we do to help? We reached out to every voter because we meant what we said, that this movement is truly for everyone. For the recent UW graduate who moved to Colorado because there weren't any jobs for her here. For the 17 year old activist who lobbied our state legislature for three years in a row, advocating for reforms that would benefit all of us. For the Oklahoma native who came here with his family to work in oil fields and who just lost his job and health care. For the immigrant from Central America who settled in Lusk and now runs a thriving business. For the indigenous Wind River youth who lost her grandparents to COVID. All these Wyomingites, no matter if they lived here for five, 10 or 80 years, they all found a home in our movement. At the same time though, you can't expect people to get excited when they feel that progress will leave them behind. You can't talk about change or a just transition without offering people a vision and a plan. So that's what we did. But there was more work ahead. I'm just getting started. As I promised thousands of you on a campaign trail, I will keep working to advance Wyoming and build a better future for this state, the nation, and our planet. Now you all know that I didn't do any of this alone. This campaign would not have been possible without some of the most amazing people I have ever worked with. I will never be able to thank them enough for the hard work and long hours. Yoav Magid, my brilliant campaign manager, Kay Glad, the most amazing organizing director, Ben Feshbach, our bright policy director, and each one of our other 16 staff members, including some very young local rock stars like Ruby Novogotsky and Sam Miller, while you guys gave me hope that we will be able to secure our future. And let's not forget the artists who helped us create our brilliant graphics and amazing videos and more than 26,000 donors who helped us raise more than a half million dollars. And our hundreds of volunteers who sent thousands of postcards made literally hundreds of thousands of phone calls and sent just as many texts. Thank you all. Last night, I called Cynthia Lamas. I congratulated her on her win and I offered her my help as a scientist 
and as a Wyomingite. My help in identifying Wyoming's pressing needs and in creating real solutions for a better future. I hope she accepts and really works for all Wyoming. And if she doesn't, she can bet she'll be hearing from us. Thank you so much.